My name is Rosie Glenn Finer. I'm a first year Bonner at McAllister College. This past year, I worked at Expo Elementary, and next fall, I'm going to start working as the Health and Wellness Issue Area Coordinator in the Civic Engagement Center. Bonner shaped my McAllister experience because it really gave me a community that I could be a part of very early in my college experience. Um, there's only 16 Bonners in my first year class and we got to know each other very well um, through a first year retreat before we got here. We came to campus early um, and then through week, or meetings every two weeks um, and I also, a few of them work at Expo with me so I'll see them there sometimes. And, um, we also had a first year class, um, so we would see each other every week for that class. Um, and so I think if I weren't in Bonner, I definitely wouldn't have made the friends that I have through that program. Um, but also I wouldn't have had the opportunity to really get engaged in service the way that I have. Or it would have taken me a little while to adjust, whereas just being immersed in it really gave me an opportunity to work off campus and get to know different people at Expo and also on campus. Both last semester and spring semester, I worked three days a week. Um, so in the fall semester, I was balancing soccer with Bonner. And so if I had work, I, had, I would work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, so Tuesday, Thursday, I would go to work in the morning at like 9.30 till about 11. Um, and then I would come back and have class at 1 and then have practice at about 4.30. Um, Wednesday I would wake up and I'd go to class from about 8.30 to 1 and then go to work before coming back to practice at about 4. Um, this past semester I didn't have practice um, so I had a little more time to work at Expo. So I would work Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I would have class in the morning from like 9.40 to noon roughly and then I would work from 1 to 3 and then come back to campus. Um, so that was every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. At Expo, I work in a kindergarten classroom, so there's about 23, 24 kids um, and one full-time teacher. And so I will go and assist kind of students who need more one-on-one -on -one attention. They'll either have trouble focusing or just won't necessarily understand the activity. And so I'll sit down with them and really keep them focused and kind of work with them one-on-one -on -one at their own pace so they don't fall behind the rest of the class. Um, and then I'll also work with some of the students who are reading at a higher level than the rest of the class and I'll I guess every week or every two weeks I'll lead a reading group with them so they have a chance to read at their own pace and something to supplement what they're doing in the classroom. I think one of my favorite things about Bonner is just the group of people I've gotten to know um, both students and faculty. Um, I've just I've made a lot of friends and um, I get to know a lot of people that I don't know I would have necessarily gotten to know. Um, I also get to learn a lot about the opportunities offered through the Civic Engagement Center and the Institute for Global Citizenship. Um, I know a lot of my friends who aren't in Bonner will still don't know anything really about the Civic Engagement Center or the Institute for Global Citizenship, but to be able to go in there and know people and kind of know what they do and really get involved I think is a really cool thing to have in college. Until you really sort out the time commitment and you get used to where you have to be when and how much time it's going to take up, trying to negotiate it can be stressful at times, but once you really know, okay, this is when I'm going to be at work, this is what I have to do, and once you know that you have to get some of your school work done ahead of time in order to make it all work, um, it, can, it can be a little more stressful than, than you would like it to be. But I think it's a really good way to kind of work service and leadership into your college experience. Um, for me, it's, been, it's definitely been a part of my experience in terms of, like, I, I'm at the point where I can't imagine my experience without it. It's played a large role in um, kind of my time at McAllister. You get to get off campus, which I think is a very cool thing to do. We're in the Twin Cities, um, so to work with different organizations and to work with schools in the area, I think is a really great opportunity. And also, because it's your work study, you, you're going you know, multiple times a week. You're really building a relationship with that off-campus organization. Um, and so I know people who will go you know, once a week for an hour or two, but you're there so much that 
at least in my kindergarten class, I really got to know the students, I really got to know the teacher, and I really just learned a lot about education, both working with students and uh, education in the Twin Cities that I think I don't think I would have learned if I weren't in Bonner. And from there, you can kind of choose what path you want to go down. So I'm going to kind of go more the health and wellness area, but now that I finished my first year, I've made connections on campus, off campus, and there's just so many opportunities that I don't know if I would get at a different school or if I weren't in the Bonner program. So I think it's a really good way to to not just do community service, but really make it an integral part of your college experience.